Welcome to Empower Your Pattern with President James Hendricks. Member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, success, confidence, and thrive coach, and renowned adversity authority. He will teach you about the principles that help you overcome the adversity of your everyday life, along with the patterns of success set forth in the Word of God. So come and join us on the adventure. Let's go. <laughs> Yeehaw! Hello, everybody. Welcome to Empower Your Pattern. We are on the Strenuous Pattern Row. <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about two different concepts in, um, say, the networking business. One of them is word of mouth um, advertising. It's one of the oldest methods of marketing. And in many ways, uh, one of the more effective, you know. Say you you found yourself a, a good book and you recommend it to a friend. The same thing can be done regarding your your, your business opportunity, your product, your service. But, it has its drawbacks. And, and so does attraction marketing in that, in that way too. But, the drawbacks is, over time, an entrepreneur can, can grow tired of being in front of the same type of prospects. That no matter how hard you try to get them on board with your product or opportunity or service, they just they just don't the prospect just don't see what you have in your hands, and and, and you don't want to think that you that, that you're gonna lose. Okay, so this is where attraction marketing comes in. Okay, uh, many YouTubers such as Frazier, uh, Ray Higdon, and the like, um, just got through listening to Ray Higdon, and he has a model of attraction mo marketing that I actually like. It's called ILT, which is Invest, Learn, Trade. Find out what you can, you know, invest in some of the things to help you learn about, help people learn about the product, or learn about your brand. You learn it, and then you go and do videos, and you teach it. Invest, learn, teach. But when you blow, um, when you blow attraction marketing, and far too many people do this, is, oh, look at my product here. Oh, it's got this and this and this, and, you know, we, we got this, uh, you know, they got this, we got this Black Friday special going on. For one thing, my organization that I'm part of in, in, in ACN. As far as I know, we don't we don't do that. Our uh, our sales has a strict code of ethics, as far as I know. Now yeah, we do have commercials and stuff. And and that and that sounds wonderful. But in attraction marketing you don't necessarily go with the Promotionals and, and be all salesy, salesy, if you know what I mean. Now, attraction marketing, you go in there and you put on your consultant cap to help them see whether their product or their service is right for them. Let them decide for themselves. Okay? Now, both of them are good, okay? 
if you want to refer to your friend, you just know that your friend most likely is going to look into and favor your your uh, product or service or your opportunity. By all means, do that. But if they don't work out, <laughs> you know something? Attraction marketing is pretty dang good. I'm actually behind that. Y you know what I mean? Because with attraction marketing, you're, you're not sitting there, oh, look at this early word special on here on, on my product, Twiggle Diggle D and Twiggle Diggle Dumb, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, you're, you've invested on what you need, educating yourself on, on your opportunity or on your, uh, you know, which is your brand, part of your branding, or on your product or service. And then you learn what you can for yourself, and then you go out and teach it. And you know what? It takes time. This particular area of marketing takes time. It can be easy to say after a week or so to want to give up. Don't. Trust me, don't. You don't want to have to do that. It's going to be well worth your time. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. Um, I think I think for someone like me who is stuck at home and, and don't necessarily have ways to go out and meet people for business purposes, this is where... Attraction marketing sounds pretty good for me right now. Now, I've said my piece. I've said what I've had to say. Um, working off of advertising, I'm not downing it. If you ask me, I still say word of mouth advertising is good. That's how a lot of networkers get their business done. Especially if you're see enough, can see well enough to drive a car and get out among to, to meet people. And you should do that to grow your business. But if you're in my position, yes, definitely do some word of mouth advertising. But I also think that this is where attraction marketing helps. You 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 don't come across as salesy. You learn what it is to be learned about your opportunity or your product or your service. And you teach people. Be it YouTube videos, social media, online courses. Yeah there I said it online courses you can get them Hook, line, and sinker on some of those, if you know what I mean. But you're not going to have attraction marketing if you come across as a salesman or saleswoman. Because it's like I said a few days back, a couple days back, is this. If you think you're going to acquire customers to the old sales market, nine times out of ten, you're not. You're not. And some of us, you know, we got the attitude, you know, because of the old industrial marketing, well, I don't want to do sales. You know, Mr. Mr. Crinkle knows. Well, I don't want to do sales. And no, I'm not going to do sales. I don't want to do part of your business because of love sales. You have to look beyond that. You can be a consultant. It is your business. It is your business. Sure, our uplines could hold us through the process. But in the end, this is one thing I have to discover. 
I'm the one that makes the executive decisions around here. So it's 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 like there. You know, I talked about how in the matrix of network marketing, I said how you were an asset and how to invest in, in, in yourself. Well, if you're going to do attraction marketing, that's a thing. You're an asset. So seeing that you're an asset, you have to invest in yourself. It, patterns build on one another. It's funny. I never thought it would come to this. And, and, and trust me, the tapestry is all going to come together. It, it could be tomorrow. Could be a couple of days from now. But you're in you're in for a treat here. Being able to have some energetic marketing for your business without being salesy, that's what's gonna help you. That's gonna put that's what's gonna put you up in, in the long term where, where you're the dude. Or, or you're the dude at. I mean, you're the major naughty stud that's willing to make the executive decisions. And if you want to do some some uh, word of mouth advertising in your network networking business, then yes, do that. But if you also want to do some attraction marketing, maybe a little bit more of that, I understand that too. But the basis of all this is knowing that you are an asset. Being a child of God. And with that, for the sake of your business, you have to know this one thing. And that is to believe in yourself. And believing in yourself and knowing that you're an asset, that you're a child of God, and investing in yourself, that makes all the difference in the world. Now with that, I hope you enjoyed listening to Empower Your Pattern 2.0. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of Pattern Realm. Until next time, don't just sit there and take it. Build your dreams so you can take it. Do what others don't so you can be what others want. And do what others want so you can have what others can't. And, and also, please share this with Mama Son, Papa Son, and everyone. This is Jenny Hendricks saying until next time, choose, act, and pursue happiness. God bless you. And remember this, from the bottom of my heart, Jimmy loves you. I really love you. God bless you. Have a blessed day.